Even though this option is called top 10, we get to customize if we want to show the top or the bottom 10, and we can also customize how many items do we want to show. In this video, I would like to show you how to display a top 10 in an Excel pivot table. So as you can see, I have a pivot table right here. I have all the items that I could gather from my sales data spreadsheet. And currently I have all these 19 values in here, but I would like to just see the top 10. And let's see how to do that. The first step that you will have to perform is to identify this button. It will be right on the first column of the pivot table. Click on it and then just go to value filters. And over here on this menu, the last option that we can pick is top 10. Now even though this option is called top 10 we get to customize if we want to show the top or the bottom 10 and we can also customize how many items do we want to show. So even though it is called a top 10 we can pick bottom 3 for example and just show bottom 3 values from a pivot table selection. But in my case let me just select top 5 from here and the last option is called sum of sales. Now you have to be careful in your pivot table on which column do you want to create the top 10. In my example I only have the sum of sales in here but but you could have multiple columns where you have values and you may pick something else to do your top 10 on. I'm just going to leave it as sum of sales and hit OK. And now look at that. I have the top five items showing in my pivot table. Now something still doesn't look right in here. I have the sports on the first place, but outdoors is on the second place, even though jewelry has a bigger number on the sum of sales column. And for that, we will also have to sort our pivot table. I'm just going to click on the button, go to more sort options. And from over here, instead of sorting this descending by the department. I'm just going to sort descending by the sum of cells, hit OK and look at that. I managed to show a top 5 in an Excel pivot table. Now if you learned something new with this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Please leave your questions in the comments below and I will answer to them with a video or with a comment and thank you for watching.